Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today I am showing you how to turn your home into the ultimate sanctuary. I'll be sharing my top eight cozy fall home decor and accessories to get you falling in love with your home all over again. A new season is upon us, which means ushering in a fresh new mindset to get you more relaxed, more rejuvenated, and hopefully more inspired as a result. Think of fall as a mood, not a season for you to rush out and buy whatever's in style or trendy at the moment. It's all about getting inspired by the mood and allowing your home to elicit that feeling that you want to capture year round. I love layers, I love accessories, I'm a maximalist by nature. But finding that the older I get, the more I want to invest in quality basics like a fabulous sectional or a super comfortable mattress, which I can then start layering on to capture the vibe. So while this video does share my favorite cozy fall home essentials, it's more about capturing the spirit of your space and how you can use colors, patterns, and textures to be inspired by what you surround yourself with. We're kicking off this video with my favorite decorative vessels and vases. I don't share a ton of home decor on the channel because I want you to discover your own style and curate pieces that speak to your aesthetic. But every once in a while, I'll highlight some items that I am positively drooling over and earthenware vessels and vases top the list. Use these decorative elements to style a coffee table, a living room console, a bookshelf, or kitchen shelves. Look for clay, ceramic, terracotta, natural organic materials that look and feel artisan and one of a kind, even if you sourced it at your local retailer. The beauty of these vessels is that you can style them as is or go outside and cut a branch off of your favorite tree to fill the vessel with a sculptural element. Look for earth toned natural colors in raw finishes for the coolest fall vibe. Fall bedding is all about heavier textures and fabrics. It's not about layering your bed with a ton of pillows that you can't even sleep on. That's actually one of my most common bedroom design mistakes. Think bedding in terms of knits and crochet, tapestry, and beautifully washed and worn in linen.
If you're looking to update your window treatments, look for cozy fall fabrics like natural linen, heavier cottons, and patterned panels to cozy up the fall vibe. You can layer heavier panels over custom shades for a complete look that adds color and coziness to your living room. You can echo a similar palette pulled from architectural ceiling beams and repeat that natural color in your bedroom. The key to creating a cozier element in your home is to ditch the white window treatments and go bold with something darker, something moodier, and more inspired as a result. Much like how you would source natural organic materials for your decorative vessels, think along those same lines when you're sourcing table lamps. Since light will be reflected off the finish, I love a glazed base to catch even more light. You can coordinate the lamp base color to the table underneath it and go lighter with the fabric shade for some contrast. Think dark bottom, light top to bring in more light into the space. While I'm a huge proponent of decorative pillows on the sofa, I actually like to keep the bed minimal since there's no place to put all these pillows when you're ready to sleep. This is where you can get creative with color and pattern since pillow covers are low commitment and can easily be swapped out if you tire of it or if the texture is too heavy for the next season. I love velvets and mohair, rich tapestry, layered graphic stripes, I previously made a video on how to mix metals, so I'm wondering if you'd be interested on a video on how to mix and match patterns. Especially with decorative pillows, that's really how you're going to create that layered effect and add more personality into your space.
Moving on to accent tables. Nothing says fall like rich woods, stone tops, and metal accents. Always consider function first and source a side table that helps support the main piece that it sits beside. If the accent table is used as a surface top for a nearby lounge chair, make sure the height is not too low and not too high. The best height for a sofa or chair accent table is the same height as a seat cushion. The best height for a nightstand is the same height as the mattress. Plus or minus 2 or 3 inches is a good rule of thumb. Any deviation from those 2 or 3 inches and you're really straining up or down just to reach the surface tabletop. Next on the list is vintage area rugs. I've been obsessed with everything Amber Interiors has been putting out lately and for a good reason. If you don't know who Amber Lewis is, she is this incredible designer that has a very laid back West Coast cool aesthetic. Her interiors always feel fresh and timeless. She also has an online decor shop, Shop Amber Interiors, that sells everything interior related, but her area rugs are seriously what I'm lusting after for myself and my clients. She's pulled together some vintage one-of-a-kind area rugs that will work for any type of interior, whether your style is modern, traditional, or somewhere in between. That's the beauty of vintage rugs. They're not cheap, a definite investment, but really do transcend style and era so you'll have it forever. I'll link some budget-friendly duplicates in the description box below in case you're looking for something a little bit more affordable. And lastly, we have leather. I would love to make a case for leather year round, but I know my viewers in the hotter, humid climates are totally gonna attack me. So we're going to keep leather away from your apparel and really more focused on interiors and accessories. While we wouldn't rock leather pants in the middle of summer, I will argue that leather is a perfect addition to your interior to help it feel warmer, cozier, and much more inviting. Think leather accent chairs, upholstered leather headboards, leather bar stools, or even a leather dining bench. Bonus points for specifying something in rich, autumnal cognac colors that truly bring in the warmth of the season. Fall is absolutely my favorite season. I love the shorter days, the longer nights, the gloomy weather, the layering on of all of your clothes and accessories. Layering your home is much like layering an outfit. You start with quality basics. Maybe it's a crisp white blouse, tailored pants, or even really well-worn love denim. Then you can start piling on the accessories, like your outerwear, your scarves, your hats, your beanies, your gloves. There's so much to fall layering that I absolutely love. Think about building your home like you would build your look. If your style is more minimal, of course you would invest in really quality basics and keep the accessories very minimal. Think clean lines, modern shapes, and nothing too frilly. If your style is a little bit more traditional, think about all the colors, patterns, and textures that really vibe with your aesthetic. 
I hope you got some really great ideas of how to turn your home into the ultimate sanctuary. Whether it's fall, winter, spring, or summer, it really doesn't matter what season it is. Be inspired by everything that's happening around you and try to bring the warmth of that season home. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what was your favorite from this list. What are the key pieces from this video that will help you create the ultimate sanctuary? Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.